friends, today we're going to draw a otter, then tell facts about it. I can't wait. Let's get started a little sooner. Right now. So first, let's draw our name. N-A. My name is Anjana. Let's get started right now. So first, let's draw a V right here, and then put a line like that and color it in. And then you draw two humps, one like this and one like this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So first now you're going to draw the eyes. So you're going to draw one and two circles. Now you're going to draw two circles this way and color it in. Now, your face is ready. So now we're going to draw something else. That's part of the ba. Otter, you can guess what it is. It's eyelashes. After you draw the eyelashes, you have to draw a big upside down U. Like this. Now draw some ears to make it cuter. So now you draw on the face and the head. Now you're going to draw the little jelly. So you're going to draw again a small triangle and you close it and color that one in. Just like that, the little cutie nose. That deserves another heart. Now you draw two bumpy lumps. Now you're going to draw the eyes, but draw it closed, probably like it's sleeping. You can draw it be if it's open if you want. Now goes the face and the head. Like that. Perfect. Now, draw the ears. That's the two Julie's ears, all right. All righty. Now, we have to draw the cuddles. So we have to draw a little like this and go back to mom. Like it's cuddling the baby in one side. And then you can draw some paws like this. So it's kind of like paws for the otter, like how we have hands. Now, you're going to draw the other hand. Now, you have to make a little thing that attaches to the first hand this time. Now, we have to come over here and attach right over there. And then you can pretend there's some little paws coming over that. Now you have to draw the legs. Draw one, draw two. Now, we 
what you're gonna do is start from this, you know, like that, and draw a line that attaches to the leg. And then the next time, you're gonna draw a line and attached to this, so it's an equal line, if you see. Now, you have to do a curved line like this. When you're done with the curved line, you can pause the video if you, if I'm in a rush. And then, draw the tail, which is a bump like this and a bump like that. Now, we're going to draw the legs for the mama. So, the legs for the mama, you're going to again draw the tails. So, this time, you have to draw big U like this. It's, let's draw half of it. Like what? It's behind. And you can do like this. And then complete it like that. Perfect. Yours looks perfect like mine too. And then now you're going to do like this and complete right there. So if you see, it's an equal line. So let's do the same of attaching to each of the mama's legs. And let's do like that. Perfect. Now it's overlapped each other. So it's like cuddling its mama. So now we forgot one more thing. A tail. So this time you're gonna overlap with this tail and voila! -la. The otter is ready and it's missing one thing. Coloring time! So I have some oil pastels right here. So we are gonna color this time. Now when you're going to color, make sure you color the mama first. So let me test and see if this is good. Yes, this is a good um. Now, let's just slowly color the mom, mama. So make sure it's perfectly colored. In fact, if it's colored, it's more prettier. If you leave it black and white, it's not really pretty. Make sure you color the hands too, instead of thinking it's the jellies. Make sure you color the legs too. Now, color this side. That's the leg. And then 
color in this bottom at the then in, in the tail so that's some brown now let's work on the joey the joey is even lighter so what we're going to do is we're going to do this color it's peach Now, what you're going to do is you are going to take a teensy bit of black and you are going to color in the eyeballs like perfectly. And then like that perfect now we have done the eyes so we can see betterly now let's trace over all the marks Perfect. And now trace over the outsides. And the jewelry's outside. So, thanks for coloring with me. This now, we are going to color in the hearts. So, now that it's all colored let's add some background to it yeah to make it some beautiful colors so this time we're gonna fast forward a little i mean i'm going to do a little fast forwarding we're gonna add a little bit of some ocean so we're gonna color bits of the sea blue you know like the sea is blue teensy bit of light blue for the sea
So now we are going to color the sun. Well, so you have to draw this a little big, if you can see, and color that yellow. Oh, yellow. Now we are going to do a name and then color in probably like this. Perfect. Because I need to darken this a little. Now we are going to color and do some designs that makes it realistic. Suppose let's add some like coral underneath. Like this. Beautiful coral and pieces are type of um, plants that live in the ocean sea. Now, you have to search for some like mm, orange maybe. Hmm? And do some little like this. Perfect. Now, like this and braids. Make sure you do some lots of designs. Sit around. And you can add some long foolies. Some kind of, you know, some other kind of coral, purple coral. And after we draw, we're going to do some facts. Which is probably part of the seahorse. Seahorses live underneath. So I'm just going to draw a seahorse right here. Perfect. Uh, maybe not. I'm just not going to draw a seahorse. I'm just going to draw some other bits of coral. Alright, we're done coloring. Now let's do some facts. You can look at the picture while I read you some facts. Playful sea... Fact number one. Playful sea otters spin and romp together. Fact number two. The Pacific Ocean's northern cast coastlines make perfect homes for otters. Fact number three. Baby sea otters have six fur so they can float in the water. Fact number four. Baby sea otters are born in the water. Fact number five. Sea otters even help keep kelp forests healthy because it's their food. Fact number six. Otters eat urchins and other kind of meat and stuff. Fact number seven. The baby pup lays on its mama for, for hours for safe, safety. Whenever you see an otter, you're really special. Because you know facts about otters. And that makes otters and you special. Now, let's see. Hmm. Take another piece of paper, or if you bend it your picture, you can. So, write otters. 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 And underline it. And at the bottom, write some facts. 
The first fact is, and you can write it, play full C. Playful C otters romp and play together. So if you need some help spelling, you can look at this. I'm going to give you some time. You can pause the video. So that's the part and you can decorate any way you want inside. If you have this space, you can decorate that as well. So I'm going to see you later in the next episode of Facts Learning in Anjana's Book Club. See you later. Bye.